Fun. Young children generally aren't fussy when it comes to their toys, but parents should be. Toys are more than just playthings. You want games and books that encourage language, spark fun, and conjure creativity. Here to help us make the right choice for our kids, Sherry Artemenko, a speech-language pathologist with Play on Words. Sherry, thanks for joining me. Well, thank you. So much to get to, and you brought in seven toys ranging in price from $18 to $40, so very affordable. Right, right, and they're just full of great language experiences. So first we have Roll and Play, which mm -hmm. is by Think Fun. It's their first toddler game. So I'd recommend it really for kids two and up. They love to toss or roll the cube, and when it lands on a color, then you pick a category card that matches that color. So you're doing body part, learning body parts and colors mm -hmm. and counting, that kind of thing. And again, you said the cards fit into little pockets. Yes, we love we love things where we can put, it all gets in the same little package. Okay, yeah. what is this? I, this just caught my attention. I love this. This is finding games on the farm and it's in the shape of a silo mm -hmm. and you just turn the cylinder and look for over 40 different items that relate to the farm. Oh, see, I so, spot a couple. This is great. I know. I can see the fence and the coffee cup. Of course, you need your coffee cup. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. but so you're learning vocabulary within a category and you can also talk about the function. What do we do with those things? Okay, and then what do we have down here? And this what is, is it My help? Own Laundry by Step 2 and kids love this. I, I, oh, it's nice that they like laundry at their age. <laughs> but anyway, it's got all the props you can you can spray your clothes you can a little sink on top you've got the washing machine and of course your iron I was thinking even with my son he's a year and a half he loves to kind of organize and clean and put things yes, together yes. they just like to do that and put they something do. in one spot and then move it back to the other exactly, spot exactly. so this would be perfect it's perfect and they can open and shut the door and it's got sound effects all uh, things. let's talk about the fact that you were at the International Toy Fair in New York City mm -hmm. and you learned something very interesting when it comes to the consumer demand yes we have now um, parents of children with special needs are making their voice known to cons to the retailers and the manufacturers they're saying hey this is a great toy for my child They've really learned language from it because it has all these props and they can tell stories. And the manufacturers and, and toy listening. companies are listening. They're okay, listening, great. Right. Let's go to these right here. Okay, well, this is by Haba, and it is, um, it's a little puzzle by Animal Friends, and it can be a 2D puzzle or it becomes a language experience when you start setting up the pieces. Okay. Okay, and this is a Garden Salad by Hoppe. It's love wonderful. That. You can mix your salad and put in your oil and vinegar and a little twist of, pe twist of pepper. I love that. And last but not least, what do we have here? Well, that's um, my Take Along Pet Clinic by Playmobil. It has a hundred props, so wonderful vo for vocabulary and storytelling. I love it because playing is fun. Yes. Kids want to play with toys, but you can also make it educational. Right. For sure. Yes. Okay, thank you, Sherry, for coming thank in. You. We appreciate it. Well, straight ahead, we've got a look at the stories making headlines this morning, including...